Hey guys, welcome. Are you ready for another wonderful episode of your sparkle of creativity? Today, it's all about embroidery hoops, embroidery hoop jewelries. And I'm here with the artist Shahar Boyayan. Yep. Yep. And yep. today it's going to be fun. It's going to be super fun. Yeah. So tell we us a little bit about. Well, we are going to learn new things and a not only is a project that doesn't take you a lot of time at all, it's a gorgeous gift. If you're still looking for ideas for, you know, last minute gifts or uh, stocking, how do you say that? Stocking stuffers? Uh, stocking stuffers. Yeah, so very easy for that. But it's also a very gorgeous piece. And this is what it makes it so fun. It's to be able to do something that not only doesn't take a lot of time, you can have m multiple purposes for that, but the fact that at the end is a very beautiful piece. It's a beautiful piece. In fact, yes. can we show the piece that you're wearing? Yes, we can, of course. I so love this it. is one uh, that we are going to be making one this size for today, for the demo. Look so, how wonderful that oh, piece yes, is. Oh yes, it's me, okay. I so, look at this. Look at that. Now, this one, Ashla, uh, can have different purposes as well, okay? And I'll talk a, a lot about this a little bit later. And, but this is a bigger mini embroidery hoop. They're all the rage right now. They really are. You find, you, you really find many artists working with them, because of course, if you sell, they're an easy, sale as well uh, now this is the mini 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 one okay i'm going to show that and i think it's adorable it is it really takes you 15 minutes or so to make one of these really tops. that quick yeah well depending on the design that you choose right Amazing. this one that we are going to be doing is really a, a, it, it is simple but again has a beautiful effect actually all of them that i brought today they follow the same uh, stitch which you probably, if you ever looked at this stitch, you're going to say, oh, this is the rose stitch. But actually the, the right name for this stitch is spider stitch. Really? Yes. Now, usually you're going to use this with pendants, but you can make things for decoration using several of those. And one thing that I just want to call your attention for, you can, uh, if work oh. on a on a bracelet as well, okay. If you have here leather, uh, that even would make metal, for a stunning uh, bracelet. Uh, it's kind of a, a showstopper. It when really people is, see, right? And you can work in in different ways here. So don't get you know stuck that it can only be a pendant because it can, you know, depending on how bold you are, it can even be a ring. Many people wear big ring, uh, earrings. big earrings. I I really don't wear that much. And with this one that I told you before, what I want you to give the idea that, let's suppose you or somebody you know is going to get married. Well, the bride always has the bouquet, uh -huh. right? And, and many, time, many, uh, many times it, it's gone after a while, right? Because the flowers die. In other cases, they can have that preserved and put on a, on a light box or a, a shadow box. Shadow box. But, you know, you could make the pendant mimicking their bouquet. Think how fun it is. It usually has uh, a color coordination. Let's say, uh, I don't know, the bouquet is pink and purple. So you can make that and mimic that bouquet and give that to the bride that later. That is super thoughtful. In many situations, let's say you are the mother of the bride, for example. Uh -huh. And of course, this is decided months before. So she knows it's going to be roses or it's going to be lavender or whatever the flower peonies. And it's going to be in that color coordination. You can create this pendant and she can wear during the uh, the yeah. weather no but the wedding the year well right? oh during the wedding and then afterwards as a as a remembrance of that day the her, their happiest day of her life right yes. i love and the she idea keeps that of that and preserve so think about that not only to use with somebody that is going to get married maybe yourself but also as a selling piece because if you use any of the online stores out there uh, you can say i make custom uh, bouquet pendants so you, you have to sell the idea. The same bouquet that the bride will be using, you can uh, create the piece for her to wear as well. So just think the picture. You have the bride in that beautiful uh, white dress, and then she's holding the bouquet, and right here on her chest, 
the representation of that bouquet. So you're just, you know, making everything come together. Yes. It could be a huge thing. And of course, if you're doing anything custom, you know you can, you will charge a lot more. Uh, why? Well, because it's custom, it's made specifically to one person. Uh, it takes more, more time. It takes more communication because you're going to send the pictures. This is how you want. So the, uh, the process is longer. That's why custom is always more expensive, right? Yes. By the way, Shahar, we have Elaine Tucker says hi. She's hey. watching hey, Elaine. Uh, Sandy says watching from London, UK again. Oh, how nice. Welcome back. Welcome, blokes. I love these. And by the way, Sandy, uh, Elaine, if you didn't see these, look how pretty this is. This, today, it's all about embroidery hoops. So this one, we were talking about how you can mimic bouquets for special occasions this like a wedding. A, it's an elegant piece. Yes. And I love how quickly it is to make them. You said uh -huh. you can make a piece in Well, this, this one would take a little longer because but it has... Still, it, ha it, it tells a different story, correct? Uh, it has... It's a bouquet, so it has the... The, I don't know how you, the stems uh, and uh, a bunch of flowers. Well, it's a more intricate design. When I bring this one, you can see that it's a lot simpler than that. So, of course, it's very fast to make. And you can make in many colors and many designs as you want. Very now, nice. before I show you how to make this, I want to do my show and tell. Oh, yes. Okay, let me try not to mess up with the mic. Because I do love embroidery, and, and it's something that gives me a lot of pleasure. Pre a little bit? A lot of pleasure. 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 And <laughs> Does it give you pleasure? Pleasure. A lot of pleasure. But, you know, it took me quite a while to start embroidering because I really thought, well, I actually thought two things. One, it was too complicated, and the second, uh, it was kind of for old people, and I'm so young. But then I found that it's not like that, and you can actually uh, create your own spin and the, uh, your own way. If you look into modern embroidery, for example, today, you're going to be out of your mind. You, uh, like, oh my gosh, there are so many cool things out there. So lately, Nashla, I've been into the moth business. Ooh. I've been making moths of all sizes, and uh, here I have a moth and a, a butterfly. So this baby... I completed a few weeks ago. So let's look at this moth, how pretty it is. How about if we do it on the overhead? Yeah, yeah. it'll let's show better. Pa, pa, pa. Look, look at this. Look at that, how so beautiful So this is, is a big wall piece and it's totally embroidered. And I it's love a, it. And like then I need to felt stitch. the body. Every little, this is each of the, the texture that I see here, these yeah. are stitches. And the moth tends to be kind of fuzzy. Uh-huh. So, it, and these are simple stitches, really. It's just a straight stitch I'm, all the that time. That looks beautiful. Yeah, I, I think so, too. It has the, the little legs. Oh, let's it see. was on the wall here at the studio, so it's a little mush mush. Let's see, the, let's show them the legs. So, try. There you go. Look at that. And it has little legs, little and legs. it has the hook to be on the wall. Oh, the little This is the right wrong here. side of the wing, so you can see that it's still pretty. So I don't need to cover with anything. Look how gorgeous this is. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Beautiful. And just imagine, you know, on a, on a wall, this hanging there. Yes, Ooh, look, look right there with look that green this. on our wall. I love this one. It's a nice guy. Looks amazing. And then I completed this one yesterday, and I'm still debating if it's done or not. You let me know. I love, love look this at, oh, one. Let's put it. So you look, yeah, look, it's that my favorite at this stunning. moment. The legs as well. That see? did little legs right there. But look at the the wings. This was uh, kind of very fast, a lot faster than that one. That took me a good two weeks. But this one I use wool felt for the the wings. So a lot here is just felt, not stitches. Really? Yes. And then there is a, one metallic thread that does the black. You did an and amazing job, Charles. I Good like job. this one. And, and of the course, back, the body can is little. The, the body? You can. It's never as pretty. Well, but it, I don't need to cover. You can't. I mean, if you're doing no. your own, you're going to Are do you however you want. Gonna hang this one? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm finished this morning, so I, I'm still debating if I, I will paint the the antenna and stuff like that. Look, look at yeah. this. Yeah, very cool. Beautiful piece. And the next one. It's going to have less embroidery, but I think you should see. So this one is not ready whatsoever. This is, you just started this one today. I, not today, but I, I just started. And it's going to be a moth as well. Okay. Okay. So this one is uh, what I call really mainly a textile 
uh, moth. I'm going to I'm doing this for a show that we have here in March that I want to submit them. So I'm doing a series, and you can see that I did an embroidery detail right here on the wing. Uh -huh. So you can see the same flowers we are going to learn today, by oh, the way. Oh, nice. Okay, with different colors, and there is some black stitching on the dark fabric. Hmm, let's see, maybe on this one I, we can show. Hang on, I'm going to move it. They are so big. Can... That's why they are difficult to show on camera. Do you see the stitching there? Yes. Let's so it, it's, it's just some black stitch creating the design of that feather. I found this to... Uh, Does it relax you? Fabric. To make these? I love making this. I found this too. I actually bought this fabric to create a textile chicken. <laughs> but I, yeah, and I did, and it's gorgeous. But this one, I thought, wow, it's such a cool combination. Look at this. See, it's such a cool combination. Now with Beautiful. the big body, fuzzy, furry body, it's going to be gorgeous. So it doesn't have a lot of embroidery, but it has some of it. And them. I know it's not ready, but these on the wall look amazing. Yes, they are going to look cool. And in this one, I'm really just putting a detail embroidery that didn't, doesn't, see, this one is uh, the representation of a real moth, and I can't remember the name. This one is also a real but butterfly, I think it's called Bazika, something like that. Even the colors, Shahar? Hypoflora, yes. Wow. So these two are my representation of the type of moth and butterfly. But this one doesn't exist, or at least uh, on a first moment, there, there is not a moth with this design. And I put it, the embroidery in just one, one side, and it's flowers totally out of what you would expect on a butterfly. Or Elaine, a moth. Elaine said, love the colors of that, yeah. of that yes, one. Yes, it's very pretty. Yes. And I know the next butter, uh, I'm going to make another moth, then a butterfly. I already know it's going to be a yellow one. Ooh. So I just brought this for you to, to see that embroidery doesn't have to be just the traditional things. You can go one step beyond that. And of course, you can also uh, use with other types of, of arts that you like. Don't, don't keep constrained into thinking you, it's just the hoop and then I, I make, a, I don't know, something small and put on the wall. It can be more than that. Cool? Very cool. Should we go to the demo? Let's do it, Shahar. So I, uh, today you actually have the option of the oval mini embroidery hoop and the round one. Okay? Uh, it's easier for you to see on the bigger one. That's why we are going to do the bigger one. When you open your package, you have a few pieces here. Do be careful with the hardware because it's easy to fall and lose them, okay? So in every single package, you're going to have two, oh, let me put closer here to see if you can see. Uh, I don't know how to say the word for this, but it's two round things for you to screw on, see? And then you have three pieces of wood, the hoop itself, the back, and the center, oh. okay? They all come, same thing with the round one. So what you want to do is grab the center piece. Which, is, which happens to be the smaller The smaller, the smaller the one. And I'm using this three inches embroidery hoops to create this because it's such a small design that you don't need a, a, a big hoop for that. Unless you're creating several at a time. Let's suppose you want to sell or have many people to give, then you want to go bigger. For example, in this one, it's not finished. I have uh, already three and I can do four or five of them at least in this piece here. But I chose this one. And the other reason I chose this tiny one is because I just want to inspire you that they would make amazing frames for a bigger work. See? And then you give or put on and the wall. And they are simply adorable. adorable. Right? They really are. So that's why. So I have this here also very easy to carry. I carry my stuff everywhere because I actually never have the time to be just sitting down and doing. So I get that piece, the centerpiece. So the centerpiece tells me how far I can go with my embroidery. Because if you're just doing this here on the, the surface, you're going to go, oh, so I should put a stem here or a leaf here. And when you see, you don't have enough room in your place. So this is really what constrains you. And then I get a disappearing pen. Now, I got a set of these and I fell in love with them. They are called friction pens and they are, they, they are heat sensitive. So this happens. I put it here and I go around. So I'm putting my boundaries, okay? 
And uh, depending on the color of the fabric you're going to be using, you can use another color pen. Now, you, you're probably thinking, yeah, 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 I know. I have, I have those disappearing pens that you use for sewing. Well, here's the thing. Sometimes you have time. Other times you don't. So you may start the design here and have to get it to it two or three days later. If you're using one of those disappearing pens, what happens when you are back, it's gone, right? It's just disappeared. There are some that you have to friction. But well, with this one, I can come with, the, with a, uh, an eraser and rub. It's going to, to get out because when I rub, it creates heat, right? That's one way. You can press the iron gone. You can put in the sun after a few minutes, gone. I actually, when I make this, I have my toaster oven beside me because I use polymer clay. I just put them inside for three or four minutes, ready, ready to, to be sold, and gone. It, really? It, really, you cannot That's see. Amazing. Take a look here on this one, maybe this way, and you cannot see any Pen no, design, yeah. they all have pen design, including the boundary here. So it's fantastic. Just like three minutes in the toaster oven and that the heat will make yes. the lines disappear. That's amazing. And the other reason I like this is because when we use it, and I have all of them, uh, the, the other disappearing pen, usually are constrained by blue or purple and pink. So depending on the fabric that you're using, they don't work there. Uh, you can use a pencil, a white pencil, but same thing, it, is, it, it goes away and, and you lose what you're going for. This, it only goes away when I decide it goes away. So very cool thing. Uh, the fabric that I'm using here, so I'm using the basic embroidery thing called Ada. Uh, you can use anything, you can use felt, you can use um, uh, one that I'm, I'm really liking right now is micro cotton twirl. It's very cool to work. Okay, so whatever you want, muslin, that would be good. Now, I'm making, I decided that for this design, I'm going to make three roses. We are going to do one together. So I, I showed this stitch once before, very easy. Uh, decide where is the middle, and I do design them with the pen first, because again, I need to think if I want a leaf here, uh, how big my roses are going to be. So I'm, I'm making kind of a, one rows, two rows, the third rows will be here, so I have room for my leaves. So I decide what's the center, and I have to create uh, five spikes. This is called a spider, because it exactly looks like one when you start. Now, you can use five, you can use seven, you can use nine, uh, but you always have to use an odd number of spikes. That's the important factor, an odd number. So I'm going to put one, Two, they should be the same size. Sometimes they don't come out the same, but, and you can work around. But ideally, they would have the same size. So here are my five spikes, okay? Then the second one, I do the same. You can start here. It doesn't matter where you put the spikes, as long as you have an odd number, okay? And then the third one, See, so I, have, I know I'm going to have three flowers here. And I can design where I want the leaf to be or if I want stems or however you want, okay? So you have a design, even if you have to stop and come a week later, it's going to be here exactly like that. That is a wonderful thing. Okay, so I'm going to do the middle one because it's easier for uh, all of us to see. So then you choose your thread of, and color of choice. I'm, DMC is what we use most of the time, and it's a bright red because it's perfect for a rose. And what do you do? The first thing you're going to do is do the spikes you design. You come in the center, come out, and go to the end of one of the spikes. Then you come in the center again, I put a lot of thread, a lot of thread meaning about a yard, because if you put more than that, it usually starts entangling at some point. But it's enough to complete the project and not have to, to reload on yeah, thread. Yeah, yeah, especially when you're on camera. You don't want to be reloading. And because this, this type of stitch itself, it's better if you have enough than to start or not. Oh, and I did put a knot at the, at the end, because this is going to be covered by wood. So no problem there. 
It just saves time. Okay, so I have my file. See, this one I think is naturally is too close to this. Even though I did design with the pen, I'm going to go one square up. So it doesn't get way too close so to the last one. So this is the foundation one. of your yeah. rows. And you see that some of the the pan will show. No big deal. But that's okay because at because the end I, of the project, I put it that will in be the erased. Oven, yeah. And it doesn't burn anything. So you put it at the same temperature that you would with polymer clay, 275. 275 is very low. Not even paper will burn. So you're safe. Once you do that, how simple this is? Super simple. I will okay. say that... Even I can do this, and yes. I'm not that great with embroidery things, uh -huh. but I have a blast creating these roses. You have created some with mm -hmm. concrete. With concrete. Just, your panda is trying to escape. My panda? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is one that you did too. Should we show them? Oh, it's, it's not related to this, Fine. but you can t uh, show them the, the hoops though. I and can. I'll be here waiting. I'm not going to. Do <laughs> All right. So if you're wondering, okay, these hoops are adorable. I would love to have these to create embroidery jewelry myself. Where do I get them? MondoMarketTV.com. And we have a very cool uh, introductory price for you during the next 24 hours. You can get these, and they're amazing. Uh, when you you we, you have two options of of the embroidery hoops. We have the mini hoop that you can get, as well the round hoop that you can get, um, and the the oval hoops that you can get. Shahar will show the demo that she's doing today is on the oval, but you've seen the examples of the round ones. We also have available the three inch embroidery hoops. So that's what she's using right now that you've seen her use. It's these guys right here. And they're not only adorable for actual specific projects that you might want to do on the bigger embroidery projects, bigger but smaller. <laughs> um, they're fantastic for your embroidery jewelry projects so you can create here. They fit just right in your hand and they don't get in the way. The worst thing is when the tools are getting in the way of your creative process, and this is just perfect for that. We also have available these Frixion uh, pens that Shahar has been talking about. These are wonderful because they allow you to plan your project, to actually sketch it out and use it so that it, it, it doesn't impact your work. Uh, but the beautiful thing about these is they come in multiple colors. So you have red, they come in red, black, and blue. So this way, if you have a fabric that would, that would be hard to see, for example, a red fabric that would be hard to see, you can use a different color and they're wonderful. And then later, just put them in the toaster oven and boom, just like magic, the lines are gone mm -hmm. and your project will shine. So these are the friction. And the other ones that we have are these uh, fantastic. I personally love these. Um, they're the stainless steel necklaces and they, they're great because they hold their shape and they just, you put your piece here and it's just, it looks it looks wonderful. I love using these in my own pieces. So you can incorporate them with your with your embroidery and you, they, ha, they come in different colors. So the great thing is that you can pick the necklace cord that will match the color of your piece and so it all works together and it's, they're wonderful. So during the next 24 hours, all you have to do is go to mondomarkettv.com and get your hoops, get your, your the oval one, the small one, the little ones, the pen, and really just have a blast yeah. doing these. Yeah, in one weekend you can make so many, it's unbelievable. Well, these little ones, you heard her, 15 minutes to create a piece. I well, personally love the instant, it's instant gratification when you're creating, I feel accomplished. In one set, I did three, four, five, these are ready to go, I just need to put the stamps. So, and it was oh. one set. One sitting. From one place to another because, yes. like I told you, I'm always on the go. And these, you can you can use these as these make for great gifts, stocking stuffer gifts. Uh, but they're actually very adorable. Like for a, if you have a friend, you can give it to a friend. Like made this for you, yep. and it's a wonderful gift. Yeah, exactly. And you can also sell them. Yes. Oh, why not? How much would you sell a necklace? Well, for? I did my research Yay. because I, I I haven't sold them. I haven't tried to sell them. Uh, but I saw around $35, the tiny one. Nice. Uh, this one around $45, every, everywhere online that I looked into that. Of course, if you're doing a more intricate design, that will increase, increase the price, price, right? If you're doing just a, a flower, look at this, how long it's going to take us to make this rose. So here, for example, I have the five spikes ready. I go under the first, over, the next one. The whole time, all I'm going to be doing is going under, over. So under here, over here, under here, and 
when you come in the last one, so the last under in this five, you just give a little tug, tiny, not too much pressure, so you get the center of the flower in the right place. So if I went under this one, now it's over. So it's, you just go under, over, under, over, nothing else. And you do that several times. As the rose grows, it allows you to start putting some petals, because that's what you're making with them, uh, more on top. So it gives that cool design that every rose has when it's open. Okay, so this is it, and then you just have to keep doing, it's still small. So here is one thing that you have to think when you're designing the flower, is how big it's going to be, because ideally you are going to go until the moment you don't see the spikes anymore. If I stop right now, it would look a little weird, right? Because I have the, if I'm making kind of a star or something could be, but not a rose. So don't go crazy on design, oh, I want to go this way, this big, if you're not willing to do all the rounds, because we want the spikes to be gone. And because we are not measuring the spikes with a ruler, it's going to happen that maybe one or two, it's going to disappear a little earlier than the others. This, hap for me, happens almost all the time. No big deal at all. You're going to see here, so this one went under, right? So over, under, you're going to see in a second, you just go there and put another time and it just goes fine until everything disappears. Don't forget to give that little tug so the flowers start shaping. So this is, of course, a stitch that makes an open rose. And let me give you two more and I'll start. So now when I come, this one is over, but I go over the flower itself a little bit. So it, start, it starts creating a more interesting design. What do you guys think about this? Is this fun or what? I have shown is this exact same stitch in another episode, but what I think is it's a fun one, a fast one, an easy one. If you've never tried anything embroidery, you're going to fall in love because you make this and you wear this necklace and people will talk. I went for breakfast today and you know, I came in, I sat down, and I had two people complimenting for my necklace, the people that I don't know. Uh, it calls attention. It's not your average China thing, right? They're so, extremely unique. They're extremely unique. And, and they're beautiful. They literally pop out of the frame, and that's, a fun, that's one of the fun elements of these. Mm -hmm. You know, yesterday I was thinking about what I'm going to bring for next year because, you know, we, we need the ideas way ahead in advance. And I was thinking, okay, so what is going to be my team uh, for the next year uh, that I want people to embrace? Of course, I have my goals and, and the things I want to do different and everything. But I said, what's the main team for me for uh, 2019, right? That <laughs> we are going, just checking. Uh, so what do I want people to embrace in 2019 and show in everything that they do. And I decided, so that's what I'm going to propose during the whole year, that the theme for the next year is find your own voice. And nothing better than crafts and arts to do that. In everything that you do, find a way, where's my thing, I lost my spike here. One, one, two, three, they are starting to disappear so I need to know where to put the thread. Uh, so everything that you make next year needs to embrace your own voice. Tell other people what's your voice, what you are about. Uh, and you can do this with whatever you make. And this is what we are going to be proposing all the time during our sessions here every, every week. Why? Because there are many things that need to change in our society. There are many behaviors that you can help uh, modify as well and others embrace as well and by always speaking your truth you're doing that and we think we do that and we tend to think we only do that with words but we have to do that with everything that we make so by wearing something that you have embroidered that have your colors your message is one way to show your own voice to other people Nashla my rose is ready. Ooh, Let's try to give a close-up here. How quick that was for you to create it. Mm. 
And look how beautiful. It has a lot of depth. Yes, See? it does. I um, love the dimensional aspect of this embroidery project. Mm -hmm. yes. So very easy. So you saw with me maybe five minutes to make this. Of course, I have two more to make. Uh, I want to show a variation of this, so exactly the same stitch. But on this one, I have added some French knots. What? Look at this. Let me and see. created the center of it. So it, it turns, let me get a color while you show. Oh, so you did this for the center. Okay, so check So it, 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 it turns into another type of flower, right? It's not really a rose. Yes, yeah, so here's the rose that we just created together in what, five minutes, maybe yeah. a little more? And then this one, it's the same stitch with the five spikes, but then you added the French knot in the middle in a different color, and now we have an entirely different looking flower, yes. yet adorable. Adorable. Yes. And I can also get Love exactly it. the same design that I have on this one, and I can make this a nest. I would use exactly the same oh, flower, cute. but then the inside would be white, and I had three eggs in a nest if that was the whole concept of your design. See, so don't get like stuck that. that it's just a rose because it is not. It's never just a rose. It's never just a rose. Listen, in case you're wondering, where can I get these uh, adorable embroidery hoops? MondoMarketTV.com. We have them available for you. They come in oval or round. You can get either one of them. We also have the Frixion. And, and by the way, just so that you know, in the package of, the, the, of these hoops, they come with, so you get, they come in three parts. So you get the back, you get the middle part. So for example, here you have the, the backing, the middle, the center part, and of course the actual hoop. And then you get the hardware, which include the screws and the screw nuts. Uh, you get, it comes with one screw and two screw nuts. And uh, Shahar will show you how to put it all together. But both the round and the oval come with that setup. And then we also have the mini, the three inch embroidery hoops, which is where you will work. It's like your canvas. Um, that's where you'll be working. These are fantastic because they, they hold just right in your hand. Uh, they don't get in the way and they allow you to focus on your creative process on that project. We also have the pens that disappear, but these are much better than the ones that you use in the sewing because the sewing ones will disappear over time rather quickly. These will stay on until you tell them to leave, basically. And so these are the Frixion pens. They come, a package comes with three. You get red, black, and blue. They're fantastic, definitely a must have. And if you haven't seen these stainless steel necklaces yet, these are fantastic because they come in vibrant colors. So you can pick just the right color that will work fantastically well with your project. This way you have one uniform piece that works all together um, in unison, is that the word? Well, anyway, it looks beautiful. These are 18 inch and they sit just right, sorry, just right on your neck and it's fantastic. I highly recommend these. So mondomarkettv.com, during the next 24 hours we have a very special sale, so do go check it out. Uh, can I tell you one thing I learned yesterday? Yes. I learned yesterday this. I did not know. You know the advantage of you having the stainless steel necklaces? What is it? Stainless steel does not rust. Oh, yes. So we had this uh, topic the other day because people that live in, in very humid places, That's they have an issue, an issue that all the time with tarnishing yes. and with rusting. Stainless steel doesn't rust. Yes. So fantastic. I use personally use these a lot in my own jewelry. Yes, I you love like it. Those. I love them because they they're not flimsy, like they just sit just right on your on your neck area. And they're easy to put on because that you just screw them on. Yeah. And you don't have to kind of fiddle with the other out one. Where yeah. the, the hoop is. Okay. So just because we talked about creating a nest or creating a different flower, I'm going to review with you how to do the French knot. Super easy. You come with the the yarn or the thread to one of the sides. You do one loop and two loops on your needle. Then you insert, the secret is this hand keeps holding the thread. This hand keeps holding the thread. And you pull. I pull and I have a perfect French knot. See, super simple to, to make. Let's go on the other side. I'm not worried with the back because again, it's going to be totally covered and one, two, keep holding, keep holding. I can let this go, but not this one. 
and I pull until the end, and then I let it go. And I have a perfect French knot. Makes beautiful tiny flowers. In the one I am wearing, you know, I, I don't know the, na the, the normal name of the, the, the flower, but those white little ones that you put in a bouquet, uh -huh. I made a, a bunch of them. Can we with show French. this one again? Okay. I love this one. Okay, keep my nose on. Okay. Okay, there okay. you go. Look at this. Because now that we know about the French, the French knots, look at look that. Look at this. See, and, and it brings uh, dimension. Some people love 2D on everything they do. I yeah, like 3D look, on everything yes, I do. Yes, can I show the back? Yeah. Okay. We are going to see how to back. do that right now. But look how it pops out of your frame. And it's just that element of it is fantastic. Yes. So here we have, just since now we know how to do the rows, you created the roses and all these, these, all these are different roses, same, right? Yeah, but I use two different colors, uh -huh. uh, but exactly the same process. Some are bigger, some are, are uh, smaller. And then you and then added the French knots I in between. I added French knots in white and in green to mimic the foliage Gotcha. See, it's super, super simple. It really this piece, is. if you're asking me, uh, I did check as well. And it would sell custom made from 65, 85, depending on how intricate uh, it is, the bouquet itself. Gorgeous. Okay, so once you're done with your design, which is not the case with the one I'm working right now, you can take it out of the hoop and then you are going to cut. So I'm going to cut, give me my pen, I'm going to cut here, here. Uh, to show you, okay, because I need to finish that one. And then are you going to show us the pieces that are on that? Which pieces? The ones that are next to what you're drawing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so here I have, I get a pair of scissors. I'm going to cut, but I'm going to leave a good inch around it at this moment. Okay. And I'll cut that later. Then I come back with the middle part. I put here and I position my design. Why? Because your design might be too low or too high or coming to the, to the, so let's, I'm going to make a cross here. So let's suppose my main fo uh, focus point is in the middle. I can adjust this how I want, okay? So once I have it right, and sometimes it takes a little bit for you to just adjust right, I come here with the hoop and I insert this, okay? And I, I like to come way up here to the border. Now, I have not done anything else, but I could put a felt padding below and have it more, you know, bulky. Oh, so the Mine are all straight like this so one. It's more pronounced. But I could frame. come here, put a, a felt pad, then position my piece and then t try to put them in the hoop. So it would create more bulk, more rounded finish, okay? So once you put in your hoop, it's time for you to close so it stays in place so you can do the rest, okay? So sometimes the, it's going to show your, your border. Uh, if the design is okay, you leave it there, but if it's totally out of place, rearrange. Now here's what I do. I put one nut bolt at the end of the screw. And in case I lose the other one for whatever reason, this can be used as a spare one as well, but it will help hold the hoop. So you pretty much, when you remove it from the packaging, you, pr you put on that screw nut onto the, yeah, I don't you wanna, put the nut onto the screw right it's away. It's very easy to, to lose in the carpet or something that is going to, it's so small. Okay, comes to the other side, repositions, see if everything is in place, okay, if it's high as you want, and then you close. Put the other nut on. Yeah, and I use my hand all the time to, to screw everything together. Uh, you can use a tiny screwdriver as well, but you're not going to do a lot of physical force here. You don't have to put a lot of strength into closing it. You, you have to make sure everything is tied, okay. But I can even come with a needle, for example, or even the, the screw here, the scissors, and help close. So you do that until it's quite firm, and this cannot move anymore. And now we can go to the other side, and I can adjust. So I, I'm still going to leave some fabric, but I can take the excess out. So you come with your scissors, take the excess. The border is the perfect 
measurement for you, okay? So you take, so do you guys enjoy this? I wanna know. Yes. Okay, so I have this. Now I only have, I need to glue this to the back so it doesn't move. You can come with a, a hot glue here easily and, and do this, or you can use the tacky glue and do the same. I kind of tend to use the tacky glue more than the, the hot one because when you, when you mess up with the hot one, you mess up big time. And I have one point of concern that is this top here. See, it's very easy that it shows and it's not exactly down. Let me see where I put this, here. I have this here. Uh, I want to make sure it's down. So I come with my tacky glue and I take care of this first. So I put the glue around here. I take care of this first and then the rest. So that's why I don't work with the hot glue, but whatever, sprinkle your donuts like whatever you say, right? Whatever sprinkles your donuts. Okay, once it's done and everything is fine, what do you do? You either put the hot glue or the tacky glue here and you put you have it finished on the back. Ta-da! Okay. Uh, you can paint here, you can sign. Yeah, yes, it's sign. an embroidery, so it's unique, you should sign. Or you can leave as it is. And your piece is ready to be sold or to be given. It's nice. that easy. Love it. Right? Love it. So do you think you're going to make a bunch of those? Yes. Yeah. And I love how, how quick it is. And easy beautiful. Peasy. You have a, a tiny little canvas that you can tell a story on. Yes. You can embellish. And you can make it as a gift. It, we decided for this show to do a rose, right? Uh -huh. But think about this. And, and this tiny one is very good for that. If you want to design a landscape, you, you may be like, oh, landscape in this tiny thing. It's yeah, not going to work. Cute would that well, be? but think about this. Follow me here. Let's say you want the C. Okay. Okay. So semicircle here and straight stitches, blue, have the C. Here's the sky. You can put just a, a tiny little white here and it becomes a, a, a cloud. A cloud? Okay. You can do a little seagull. You can do, what's the seagull? A oh, little, you can, a yes, black. it's just a V, right? Yeah. And you can even create a tiny little boat here with one wing, one thing here. And yes. you have a full scene. You can make the desert. You can make whatever. Can make and anything. when people look, this is one inch, correct? And they look, they're going to say, my gosh, how talented you are. Yes. You must have so much patience. <laughs> and you say, yes, would you like to get one of my pieces of art? Just 35. And, and it's so it's that easy. So we stayed with the flower just because. Uh, but you can make whatever you want as a design, and that's what really the fun never stops. Can you show us the, the other designs you have in mind there, the, the other flowers you have? Well, uh, one of the, the examples I was going to bring is the, um, the lavender. lavender, really, the bouillon stitch. I also already showed this on camera once, but we can make a quick one here. Ooh, and look, just for you to see, this is a work in progress, just, but look how cute this is. Yes, it is. I there. really love the lavender. And what is this one above it? It's another rose. Another but this rose, wo this rose well, a good point, Nash. This rose is done with the bouillon. Really? Okay. So uh, it's also a rose, or it, it could, I could, I could call this some other type of flower, right? But you see, it's just it, is the it bouillon. Is it the Gerber? It reminds me of the. No, the Gerber has long, long. Thanks. But it's just one very close to the other in a circle. That's what it is. But the stitch is this. You come out in point A, and you go to point B, but you come back to point A without moving the rest of the thread, okay? Once you're here, and, and you should work with a long needle for this, it's easier. You just go around. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wow. Okay, it's all here. It's not too tight. You don't want that too tight. It's kind of loose. And then you, you keep holding the stitches, but you pull the needle. Oh. You pull all the way. Make sure that the tail here is out. Okay. Once you do that, give a little tug. Adjust. And here I go. That and I go back into awesome. point B to the back. And I have one flower. 
See, it can be the lavender when it's this color. It could be um, the wheat, if I'm doing wheat, why uh -huh. not, right? Uh, or any, anything you and want. And it's fun. I love how you wrap it around your needle. It's like 10 seconds done, right? Yes. And several of them will create a bouquet, will create Beautiful. a scenery. Or like this one, just the lavender. Super simple, super effective. Has dimension, that's what I, I, I always go for stitches that have dimension. I like stump work, I like Brazilian embroidery because they have a lot of dimension. Very nice. Cool. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Shahar. This pleasure. has been great. I hope you enjoyed. Yes, I am excited. I am genuinely excited about this. Nice, I want to try this. Nice. Thank you. And by the way, you know what to do, right? Go to mondomarkettv.com. On there, you can get your your round hoops, embroidery hoops. You can get the round hoops. You can get the ovo hoops, and you can get the three-inch embroidery hoops. Where this is where you work on it. If it's just right in your hand, it's fantastic. Of course, when you get the little embroidery hoops, they come with everything that you need. It comes with the back part, the middle part, and the hardware, the screw and the screw nuts. Also, there you will find these friction pen. They're fantastic because they erase when it's time, when you decide, and not just over a few days. It's when you're ready. So once you have your, des your design completed, once you have your piece completed, you stick it in the toaster oven, and boom, they're gone just like magic. And now you have a beautiful piece. So you can find those there. And you can find the stainless steel necklaces. Uh, these are 18-inch stainless steel necklaces, and they're fantastic because they, they hold their form, their shape. And so on the neck, they hold this shape. Um, they're wonderful also because if you're in a humid environment, for example, they don't rust. And they come in various different colors that you can get to match your project. And so this way you have one big uniform piece and it just all works nicely together. Mondo Market TV, that's where I'd like you to go. Do that right now because the promo lasts only 24 hours and you'll save quite a bit. So do go there, all right? Remember, this is the last episode the last of Sparkle one. of Creativity for this season. Yes. So we will be back on January 10th. We have a wonderful programming set yes. up for uh, next year, and you definitely won't want to miss it. But be sure to tune back in January 10th for season two yes. of the Sparkle yeah, of Creativity. We, we knew you were busy right now, right? This yes. is the season to be busy. But we also know that you, you always forget somebody in your, in your gift list. These are fantastic. This is perfect. So I wanted something really uh, simple in the sense that it wouldn't overwhelm you at all. I know you're already overwhelmed. You don't need more. Uh, you don't need a lot of stuff. You can create something quick and give to somebody, you know, the teachers, uh, maybe people in the gym that you go to, maybe your neighbors. And I mean, look, the, the teacher gifts, like you said, or just neighbor gifts, these are fantastic because they're super cute, but they, they come across as very thoughtful. Yes. And they're unique. They're not a mug full of chocolate candy kind yes. of thing, right? Yeah, or they a really body stand lotion. Out. Yes. <laughs> right. So these really are fantastic mm -hmm. and quick for you to make. You saw Shakar. She did it in five, 10 minutes. You can do it as well. Yes. So you know what to do. See you. See you at Mondo Market TV, but see you uh, on the 10th, January 10th yes. for season two. Until then, enjoy the best of this season. Definitely. You know, focus on love, not on stress. Uh, don't forget to hug everybody you have around you and, you know, put a lot of positive vibes for the next year for you. Remember, this is the year that your voice will be known. So you know, think about all the things you want to accomplish. We'll see you back here. See you then. Next year. Yes.